Hey there viewers and welcome back to Sly 2. It's been about a month since our last set of videos, so I know a lot of you are anxiously anticipating the return of this game. Now before we actually continue on, I have a bit of a problem. I've already recorded 45 minutes of this episode. The problem being, I have only 5 minutes that are actually recorded. For some reason, my Hapog decided to completely crap out on me and fail. It's working right now, I hope. It's acting like it's recording, it looks like it's recording, so I hope it is recording. And, um... I lost all that footage. Now, I'm only left with two options right now. Either continue where I last left off on the save, which means I already have all 30 bottles, and I've already completed the first two chapters, or I can start up a brand new save, which I'm gonna do, and just start off with zero coins and zero abilities, and then once I get back to where I was in the last save, load that back up. Now, I know people who are probably knowledgeable of Sly 2 are probably saying, there's a cheat code I can use to restart the current chapter. That doesn't work. For those who are curious, it is left, R1, up, down, up, left. And this is all that happens. It brings you back... right here. And again, 43 minutes in. It doesn't restart the chapter. So, brand new save it is. And then I'll just use the other cheat code, which is skip to episode 5. So here's the code. Left, R1, down, down, up, right. Time for a little payback. The Contessa, having escaped us in the prison, is now hiding out in her castle estate. It's a well-fortified, gothic nightmare that would make any thief run in terror. Terrible or not, that's where we're headed. To sweeten the deal, we've learned that the Contessa, who until recently was a secret member of the Claw Gang, is in possession of the Clockwork Eyes. The Thievius Raccoonus describes the eyes stopping opponents dead in their tracks, transfixed in their gaze. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what an accomplished hypnotist could do with such powerful artifacts. News of the Contessa's corruption has spread to Interpol. Constable Neela, being closest to the case, was granted a cash allowance to hire an army of local mercenaries. It looks like we're walking into a full-scale war. But we have to act now, before things go from bad to worse. Sly Cooper and the gang in a tangled web. What a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. And there we go. Now, we have zero coins, so we cannot buy any abilities. So we're pretty much in the crapper right now. And the, thing, the problem is that we actually need the Paraglide to get one of the bottles. So what I'm going to have to do right now is grind some coins right here, and then I'll be right back, and we'll buy the Paraglide. Alright, and with that, we now have just enough to buy the Paraglider a necessary item in order to get one of the bottles. Whoops. Not that great of an item, but then again I haven't really gotten used to it yet. And here is the bottle that you need the Paraglide for. Now, at first I actually spent a good while trying to get the bottle from these lion statues, but to no avail because you end up sliding off when you try and get right there just don't have a good enough jump. So the only way to get that bottle is to climb up here. If you can climb up there... And jump and glide. And there we go. So I think for the first few minutes of this set of videos, I'm just going to spin looking for the 30 bottles all over again. And hopefully, the thing actually records this time. Because I would hate, hate, hate to have to do this a third time. Now, 
also, when I was recording last time, I had a bit of a problem actually getting to that hook right there. For some reason, Sly just does not want to be able to reach that. I don't know why. And there is another bottle this way. Very nicely hidden. But I'm assuming we're going to have to come back here later anyways, because, like all other chapters, there is a padlock that we need to unlock with some keys. Whoop. Actually, you know what, we might as well start the first uh, mission while we're at it. Where was it? I think it was right there. Okay, here's the plan. First, take some recon photos around the area. Then make your way up to the re-education tower. Looks... pleasant enough. Oh, and stay clear of tanks. You know, so you don't get blown up into little sticky pieces. The re-education re center. I guess Bentley thinks he's educated enough as it is. He doesn't need to be re-educated. Re now before I actually continue with those recon photos, I think I'm gonna go after those 26 bottles. They're actually not that hard to find. I think I found them all in maybe 10 minutes last time. I mean, this city, or this area, is not that big. Get away from me, pigeon. And definitely need to avoid those red barrels, because if Donkey Kong has taught us anything, it's that red barrels are explosive. Don't matter if it's a barrel of fish, if it's red, those fish are made of C4 and highly explosive. Oh my god, spiders! Okay, those were not there last time. And sadly, we have no ability, so it's going to be a little bit tougher to deal with giant mobs like this. We can't really use our insanity strike. Over the ledge, come on. Damn it! We're gonna die, aren't we? Yep. Damn you, Robin Hood bird. I mean, that bird looks a lot like the bird from uh, Robin, the Disney cartoon Robin Hood, doesn't it? Yeah, I know there's a quicker way over there, but I like going this path. It's more dangerous. Okay, careful this time. Don't alert the vulture. Yeah, most of the bottles are actually on this giant platform up here. All around here. Along the many branching paths. Yeah, we don't really need to get money this time, do we? I mean, we're going to be going back to our main save after we're done anyways. I'm just doing this for on-camera work. No! Damn bird, stay the frick away from me! Seems that all of my LPs have at least one pin the ass bird. Mark of Cree, Munchables, Adventures of Darwin. Let's see, Cam- no, I don't think Cameo had any annoying birds, did it?
Maximo has some annoying birds that steal everything from you. I'm sure there's a few others I'm missing out on or I'm forgetting about. Uh huh, miss me. Oh my god, he's still after me. Damn, that's one agile bat. I think they're still after me, too. See, like I said, this area is kind of small. We're already up to 13. Uh, here's another little tidbit I noticed in the last set of videos, or last uh, recording that didn't make it. These gravestones actually depict Rocket. For those who do not remember, Rocket's the character from Rocket Robot on Wheels, the very first game by Sucker Punch Studios. If I can take care of all these enemies, I'll do a quick zoom. God, I hate that attack. This kip up is annoying as hell. Got him. Okay. So do a zoom in on one of these that is left. There we go. A nice little cameo. There's Rocket. Rest in peace, Rocket. I can't really make out what that says down there. Fall 2001, maybe? Nail 2001? Eh, can't tell. Now, I've actually heard that there's supposed to be another cameo of Rocket in this game, but he's supposed to be a ghost. That's been unconfirmed. Actually, I think that's easier to get the bottle from this way. And there's two more that way. I think there's yet another one up here somewhere. Maybe not. Sure there's one... There it is. There's the one I was looking for earlier. He had a hard time finding this one. Now, there is another one that was a bit of a pain in the ass during my last recording as well. It's on the other side, near the gravestones. Or, or near the cemetery. Hard, because you have to actually jump in the opposite direction that you would think you would need to go. Despite that thing going downward, you actually need to go up it. Reason being, reason being, there's that one hook from earlier that I couldn't really reach. So only eight bottles left now. Now comes the point where I try and remember where those eight are at. Good luck to me and my terrible memory. Actually, I think there might be one right down there near that truck.
Now I do know we need to take some recon photos of that one tank right there, though. We shall hold off on that for a second. Until we got a good vantage point, because we do not need to be shot down. Yeah, I think this works. 